how to implement project-based learning. Please take the time to take the project-based learning pre-assessment before moving forward with the training. You can do this by pausing the video and visiting the following URL. What is PBL? Project-based learning prepares students for academic, personal, and career success and readies young people to rise to the challenges of their lives and the world they will inherit. Here are steps for implementing project-based learning. Start with the essential question, design a plan for the project, create a schedule, monitor the students and the progress of the project, assess the outcome, and finally evaluate the experience. Start with the essential question. The question that will launch a PBL lesson must be one that will engage your students. It is greater than the task at hand. It is open-ended. It will pose a problem or a situation they can tackle knowing that there is no one answer or solution. Design a plan for the project. When designing the project, it is essential that you have in mind which content standards will be addressed. Involve the students in planning. They will feel ownership of the project when they are actively involved in the decision making. Select activities that support the question and utilize the curriculum, thus fueling the process. Integrate as many subjects as possible into the project. Know what materials and resources will be accessible to the students to assist them. Be prepared to delve deeper into new topics and new issues that arise as students become increasingly involved in the active pursuit of answers. Create a schedule. Design a timeline for project comp components. Realize that changes to the schedule will happen. Be flexible, but help the students realize that a time will come when they need to finalize their thoughts, findings, and evaluations. Consider these issues when creating a schedule. Create a schedule. What time allotment will be given to the project? Will this project be conducted during the entire school day or during dedicated blocks of time? How many days will be devoted to the project? Monitor the students and the progress of the project. To main, maintain control without preventing students from taking responsibility for their work, follow these steps. Facilitate the process and the level of learning. Teach the students how to work collaboratively. Designate fluid roles for group members. Have students choose their primary roles, but assume responsibility and interactivity for all group roles. To maintain control without preventing students from taking responsibility for their work, follow these steps. Remind them that every part of the process belongs to each individual and needs each student's total involvement. Provide resources and guidance. Assess the process by creating team and project rubrics. Assess the outcome. Assessment meets many needs. It provides diagnostic feedback, helps educators set standards, allows one to evaluate progress and relate that progress to others, Give students feedback on how well they understand the information and on what they need to improve. And helps the teacher design instruction to teach more effectively. Evaluate the experience. Little time for reflection is available in the busy schedule of the school day. Yet reflection is a key component of learning. How do we expect our students to synthesize new knowledge if they are not given time to reflect on what they've discovered? Too often we teachers do not allow ourselves that time either. Designate a time for reflection of the daily activities. Allow for individual reflections such as journaling as well as group reflection and discussion. For example, validate what students have learned and make suggestions for improvements. To enable effective self-evaluation, follow these steps. Take time to reflect individually and as a group. Share feelings and experiences. Discuss what worked well. Discuss what needs change. Share ideas that will lead to new questions and new projects. Follow-up. Please complete this follow-up activity by visiting the link in the description of the video below. Thank you.